So this is my fight breakdown for Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman. It's going to be a very good fight. Keith Thurman coming in after uh having a, a long layoff between fights uh, after his victory with Mario Barrios. And obviously uh, fighting uh, Manny Pacquiao before the that fight. But um, right now, we're kind of ha having a situation right now where um, Tim Zhu's coming in hot. Like I've told people over the last couple of weeks or last couple of months, uh, that Tim Zhu's been fighting top 10 fighters all last year. So this, this year, for him to kind of go after a big name like Keith Thurman, a guy who's possibly could uh, move up to 54, which he's doing, currently has a lot of power um he's basically the biggest name at one uh at 54 or 47 outside of what spence and terrence crawford so right now tim zoo's he's fighting uh guys who's top 20 top 30 fighters right now um so definitely uh making a name for himself if he can be able to pull this off he can definitely do some things for his career that he hasn't done yet. But as far as with a style matchup, Keith Thurman's a guy who jabs a lot. Um he's a fast starter. He comes out um on point. He's really sharp. Changes levels well. Has the uh decent head movement. Um he can fight off the front foot, back foot. Um, he changes angles uh, very well, has a strong right hand, um, goes to the body a lot of times as well. So he's definitely going to be a challenge for Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is a guy who's uh, very familiar with the way t uh, Keith Thurman fights. So he's not going to be surprised by any of the things that's going on. But from what I've seen Keith Thurman bring to the table, I definitely know that uh, Tim Zhu is going to be well prepared for what he has going on. And... Um, Keith Thurman's a guy, he's not going to try to lay off and um, put himself in a position to where he can take a lot of punishment from Tim Zhu. But Tim Zhu, he's not a fast starter, which is not a huge deal. A lot of great st uh, fighters are not fast starters. Uh, he likes to read and kind of get, uh, break you down and kind of dissect everything that's going on. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely still Tim, the Terminator Zhu. That's the name I got for him. Uh, I know he has other names, but for me, it's the Terminator. Though it just goes together well. But he's gonna go. He, he's gonna break. Uh, keep Thurman down. Uh, his body down. Keep Thurman hasn't been in the ring a lot. He's moving up in weight. He's going against a guy like Zoo, who's physical. He doesn't like to be moved. He stands in the pocket. He's a good. Uh, he, he's great when it comes to exchanging. Um. Has a massive right hand. Left hook is dangerous as well. Uh, so it's a lot of things that's going to be factors. Tim Zhu's not going to be throwing a lot of uh, jabs in this fight. He will jab uh, minimally, but he won't be trying to jab at, at, at a high rate because he's going to be searching for different things. He's going to be breaking down Keith Thurman. He has a, uh, he's off rhythm, so you not you won't be able to catch uh, what Tim Zhu does. A lot of times Keith Thurman is on rhythm. So I feel like Tim Tim Zhu will be able to time him, and uh, and be able to find out what uh, Keith Thurman is actually bringing to the table as far as his skills and uh, his strategy. But I think Tim Zhu uh, is gonna work to kind of change angles, um, look for an opening to kind of punch through Keith Thurman's guard. Keith, Thur Keith Thurman likes to put his arms together and have that high guard or try to block. Um, his face, you know, but uh, Tim Zhu likes to punch through that. He'll punch the guard. So I feel like Keith Thurman can't stand in the pocket and take those. It's definitely going to um, – it's going to come a time within the ninth, tenth round where Keith Thurman's going to have to figure out he's going to survive or – because around that time, it's going to get dangerous. Uh, Tim Zhu's going to try to uh, go for the knockout Keith Thurman. By then, Keith Thurman's going to be throwing a lot of haymakers. Uh, left hand, he will be uh, dancing and fainting from left to right, throwing uh, blows. He's Keith Thurman's one of the best guys at um, throwing power punches on the run. So, um, 
on the move. So Tim Zoo has to watch out for that. If he doesn't, it's gonna be a long day for him. But I feel like Tim Zoo's um he'll be where well prepared. Um, it'll be something similar to what he's seen in the Jeff Horn fight. As far as Jeff Horn kind of has the same kind of movement like Keith Thurman does, which everybody knows Jeff Horn has his movement is very tricky and uh, it causes issues. It causes a few issues to, Jeff, uh, to Tim Zhu, he will tell you. That's not an easy style for anybody to figure out. It even took uh, Terrence Crawford a while to figure out, so. But it, it's it's able to be broken down. You just have to go to the body and stay consistent over the uh, fight and be able to uh, counter. Tim Zhu's going to be looking to counter. Uh, he's not going to let uh, – Keith Thurman's going to counter. He's going to – Keith Thurman's going to want to be in a position to counter. So I think that's going to benefit Tim Zhu because he's going to be on the offense. And Tim Zhu has a, a very strong one-two, a left hook to the body and an overhand right. That combination is very strong, and it, it causes a lot of problems. Tim Zhu, he kind of aims for the chin a lot of times, and guys really know that after a while, and they, they get to moving, and they're moving around the ring, and the power's not there anymore. That's exactly what happened with uh, Mendoza. When Mendoza was in the ring with Tim Zhu, he was catching a lot of blows to the chin. His face was getting marked up. He, he was trying to stand into the pocket, and a lot of things I'm going to say. Keith Thurman moves like Mendoza. So even though I can see Tim Zhu getting a knockout, I would most likely right now lean towards a decision because for Tim Zhu because Keith Thurman, he has a lot of movement now. He's dangerous. If Tim Zhu opens up too much and kind of takes a punch that's, you know, a phantom punch, it can kind of be lights out. So Tim Zhu knows that Keith Thurman has a lot of power. He knows this. So... Like you said, he had to kind of do some things as far as mimicking uh, Keith Thurman's movement. So he's not someone that uh, isn't none familiar with what Keith Thurman brings to the table. But Keith Thurman does a great job at um, affecting people as far as um, on the go and their movement. It's going to be a hard time trying to cut off that ring, but but Tim Zhu's one of the best at cutting off the ring. And being able to go to the body and kind of slow guys down. After a few body punches, every round, it's not going to be the same as far as Keith Thurman's legs. And Keith Thurman does not like body blows. I know everybody like to go back to um, him taking certain body punches, but he doesn't. At that age, nobody likes body punches, so definitely got to go to the body. But Keith Thurman, he's strong, though. He can kind of go to that body as well. Um, he has a long reach when he's throwing out those punches. He'll kind of stretch out. He does leave himself open uh, just as well as Zoo, but their offense is their defense as well. So they have to kind of be on attack to kind of get these guys off of them. And a lot of times Thurman does that. He'll throw straight right to the body. He'll stretch out across, across the ring to kind of let guys know. But Tim Zoo, he's going to walk up. Make it be known. He's going to be in, the, be in guys' faces. And he's going to win the exchange. He loves exchanging. He's not going to back down from an exchange. That's definitely what he's uh kind of looking for, the type of fight he wants. And guys got to realize, you, you can run around for a lot of rounds, about eight, seven, eight, nine rounds. But after a while, all the um movement and stuff, Tim Zhu's going to be aiming, and he's going to be, by the time you get around to the 10th round, guys are not even going to be running around anymore. You see how Mendoza, he slowed down. He didn't really have any kind of movement throughout the fight like he did um, early in the fight. Start slowing down, and Tim Zhu was just coming around, throwing the hooks to the body, going to the chin, punching through his guard. See, uh, Mendoza will smother his punches, but Tim Zhu, he can be up close and not smother his punches. He doesn't have to extend his uh, arms to kind of get some power behind it. So he's a different kind of animal. And uh, I feel like his hand speed is a lot faster than what people realize. 
People don't think he has fast hand speed, but he has very good hand speed with a lot of power behind it. So people do have to realize that he has the same amount of power Keith Thurman has. And the hand speed as well. So I know people probably going to think he's going to be getting outpunched as far as the hand speed and his movement. Keith Thurman's going to have great movement, but he has to be able to take that same kind of power throughout the uh, fight. Tim Zhu's a fresh body, and he's been active. You're going against a guy who's been the most active in his division, fighting the highest competition. So you're getting him at the perfect time. He's kind of – we're getting him at his best, and we're kind of getting you at your worst. So, But Keith Thurman's still a guy who's always coming to fight. He does not lay down. He's not someone who's easy to go in there and kind of move around and be rough with. Um, he's definitely going to be someone whose style kind of matches up perfectly to challenge Tim Zhu. It's going to be something that's going to help Tim Zhu throughout the future. You know what I'm saying? To face this kind of style, it's an American fighter who's who moves around a lot. He move, He doesn't move around a lot as far as um, like laterally, I'm just talking about as far as his feints and being able to be on an attack. He's not going to run from the actual matchup or the fight in the ring, but he'll move around to kind of set some things up. So it'll be a lot, a little bit more movement than what Mendoza had, but it should be around the same for me from what I, what I know. Keep Thurman's stamina has to be there. But he's going to feel a lot better, though, not having to lose all that weight. So we have to see. But right now, I feel like Tim Zoo's putting on the biggest challenge right now as far as uh for Keith Thurman. If you look at it, yeah, Keith Thurman's winning against Pacquiao and Sean Porter and these other guys. But this is the biggest challenge so far. It's a 54 who's out here knocking everybody out. And... He's put, he's putting on big performances. We got to see what's what's going on as far as is this the uh, last kind of chance for Pete Keith Thurman? Is he still in his prime? Is he out of his prime? Is this his last prime fight? You know, so we got to figure out what's going on. We know definitely he's a big time fighter. Only has one loss, so. It's not like he's a guy that's just been getting walked through and knocked out. But um, I, I want to go with a uh, tip round knockout. Not knockout, but I feel like he can go to decision. It just all depends. It just all depends. But it's going to be a different kind of fight, man. So I got stoppage and uh, I got knockout in 10th uh, round right now. And I'm telling y'all, this is hard to do because Keith Thurman, I've been watching Keith Thurman since 2012, 13, around that time. Probably 14. No, around 2014. So this is a long, I don't know, man. But Tim Zhu, I think he the new real deal, man. He trying to fight everybody. Tim Zhu's not playing with anybody in boxing right now. A lot of these guys... They talking about money and this guy and that guy, but Tim Zhu, he's putting up the money to, uh, to actually fight these guys. They investing in them. They making it work. They know what he's about. They know that he'll crush guys, and they feel like he's going to do that. And the mentality he's coming with, I can't really better get some right now until somebody actually shows me. And that's just to be just being honest. To someone actually shows me that they're uh, – on that level to when it, uh, to where they want to stand in the pocket and actually exchange and have some kind of hand, hand speed and power behind some uh, punches with a guy like Tim Zhu, then I'll see. But as far as the 154, a lot of guys not really doing that right now. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.